graphic artist too, right? Correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm an artist. I have an album dropping in, in under a month. Okay, in a month. So do you got an album coming out? I have an album uh, dropping, yes. I, I just finished the album like a week ago. Okay, fire. Let me see that chain. Oh, that's it. Okay. okay. So, so how did you get the chain, man? Let everybody know how you got the chain. These, these fans want some pictures. Hey, you're going crazy. That boy. Hey, listen. How, how does it feel, man, to be famous now? got to be moving different you know like you can't be moving the same way that you that civilians move correct so what made you want to get your first break bro like what was your first thing where you was like yo this this person gave me a co-sign and it blew me up oh yeah so like yeah back in october um last year uh i went to the club uh in miami just for one one night little wayne was performing i just wanted to go see him perform he was at club live and I went there, I was just chilling in my own section, had a bunch of friends, just kicking it back with the girls. And then I looked to the right. Am I able to take a picture? Yeah, yeah, you can take a picture. Yeah, you can go like this? Yeah, bro. Yeah, so I was back in Miami, um, and I went to the club, and Tory Lanez had saw me in the club. And then he, like, just looked at me, uh, and then he started recording me. Next morning, uh, I was on a story and everything, so shit was crazy, man. Like... All the blogs just kept posting me. Everywhere I go, I get recorded, take, picture, take pictures. Like, it, it's getting crazy, you know? So that was the first, that was the first initial viral point of my career, um, getting posted by Tory Lanez. And I met up with French Montana. He um, called me up to his section, and we did, like, a little skit photo thing. Um, and then from there, like, I just went through and shit, so I'd be charging like five to ten thousand dollars just for the break sales. Um, and I'd be getting both of that. Um, and then I was like, hmm, where am I, how am I gonna take this further, you know? And so I was just like, okay, I, I just uh, I just started making music my own music, you know what I mean? And um, then music started coming up, people started liking the music. Um, I have a song right now out with Perkyo, which is a parody song. People, because I was reading all the comments and everything, I posted on Apple. To 25 times, and, and no jumper, world star, all those pages, and they haven't charged me a single dollar. You know, it's all free marketing. Everything that, that, that that's gone out, everything that you see in the media is off a zero dollar marketing budget. So that, that's literally everything is just organically. It's like it's like Post Malone when when they when they see Post Malone in public, they don't be asking him to post it. Like they just post it because it's relevant. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Now I got the album dropping within a month. I just finished it. I finished. In a week, so uh, yeah, we're dropping. Uh, I'm just gonna be dropping on World Star. So World Star has been a big support in this as well. That's how we. Got, I got the first song off uh, with Perkyo. He's a little Dirk, the big, the big Dirk guy. Um, Perkyo. Yeah, I made a song with him. It's on World Star right now. It's just a parody song because basically on all the comments when I was chilling with Perkyo in Miami back a couple months ago, there was um, we were going viral together, right? Because like we were making TikToks and stuff, and all the people were just like. Uh, Oh, make a make a cry now, laugh later remix because that's what Little Dirk and Drake made originally. And later remix, and uh, so then we ended up make, remaking the now laugh later. So that's on World Star right now. I think it has around two hundred eighty thousand views on it. But the, all the music that I'm pushing out after this now, like in the next month, like with the album dropping, it's all going to be like original music, no parody shit. You know, that was just that was just to get the people are going you know i've got a lot of attention on me now so now is the time to drop the album you know because um yeah just all the attention's on me so i see you teaming up with my homie damon man celebrity boxing you know i'm the official host of celebrity boxing i see you team a bit about that oh hey how you doing you, you guys want to get a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Is it all real? Yeah. Is it all real? Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, for real. I have. Drake sent me it. Yeah. I thought you yeah, were Drake. Of yeah. Of course. Yeah. A lot of people did. <laughs> Rub the six. So were you? Were you charged with the identity fraud? No, I wasn't. That, that was just a fake news. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Fake news. Yeah, yeah. What are you? So yeah, bro. Celebrity boxing. Is he Drake? <laughs> but, how, many, how many on your line right now? I don't know. I got like 150,000 followers. Oh. But yo, um, so like, yo, um, what was I saying? Um, celebrity boxing. Celebrity yeah, box. I, challenged, I challenged Drake to a boxing match because um, I just wanted to get a, I want to get a record deal from him or a million dollars, you know? So I ended up challenging him. It was all over on TMZ, World Star, Academics, everything. But um, he hadn't responded to it. Obviously, I knew he wasn't going to respond. But um, it was just kind of more for, like, uh, for the media exposure and getting more exposure on me. Kind of for the album dropping. Uh, so, yeah, like, now we're, we're setting up another fight with somebody else, a big superstar. Um, he's already agreed to it. He's going to be calling me out. And he's going to be saying, like, why? He's close with Drake, too. Um, he's going to be like, yo, why are you calling my boy Drake out? Da, da, da. Let's get it. You know what I mean? And you, you know, you know, I know who it is already. I'm already hip. I'm not gonna say it, but I know who it is already. Yeah, I know. That's dope. Hey, this is my nephew Preston right here. Yeah, it's gonna be a big thing. This is my nephew Preston right here. What's good, bro? What's up? OVO thing. Yeah, you guys can have a picture. Uh, yo, um, yeah, so we're, we're waiting for that fight. That's going to be the next big exposure. That fight's probably going to happen around October, so the spotlight's going to be on me for the next three months, so we really won't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. So uh, one of the big things I did, one of the, one, of the, one of the big things I recently did is I was, I, um, I deactivated my Instagram account for a day just to see, like, how much the world would miss me and how many people are looking at my page and, and how many people really do care, you know? Uh, so I deactivated it, and then right away when I, when I deactivated, like, a couple hours after, like, it went viral on social media. And they are like, yo, uh, fake Drake got banned for impersonating Drake. Da, da, da. And <laughs> I just deactivated it, and, I, and it was pretty funny how many people, like, literally posted 